Okay, number four involves graphing. When I graph, uh, it's either gonna be a sine or a cosine graph. There's not gonna be any graphs of tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant on the test. Just gonna be sine or cosine for number four. Now, you need to know these formulas. So the formulas I'm gonna put up here are ones that you wanna know for your note card. First thing is period. Your period is equal to two pi over b, and b is this number right here in front of the x, so this is b. So actually it's labeled like this. This is A, this is B, and this is C, just like that. Your amplitude is the absolute value of A, so it's, that's the formula we're gonna use, absolute value of this number in front of the trig function. Your phase shift is, it's the opposite sine of C over B. Okay, so these are the formulas that you wanna use in order to do each of these uh, parts. So these are definitely formulas you wanna have on your note card because you'll have to do that on number four. Let's go ahead and calculate this based on what's provided in this problem. Uh, this is two pi over the number in front of the x, so two pi over one half. If you flip and multiply, you get uh, four pi. This one, absolute value of negative two is positive two. This one you're doing the opposite sign of c over b. Okay, now opposite sign means whatever sign that you see inside the parentheses, that's what the one you wanna take the opposite sign of. So because it's a negative pi over two, when you put it in the formula, it's gonna become positive pi over two. Okay, and then we're dividing that by b, which we already said was one half. Uh, if you were to flip and multiply uh, that one, the twos would cancel out and you just get pi. Okay, so now we have uh, this piece of information here. Now one more thing that it's not going to ask you on the test, but uh, it's important for you to know as far as graphing purposes is what's referred to as the quarter point. Okay, so quarter point would be the period divided by four, and it's whatever period you have on this particular problem, which in this case is going to be four pi. Now the reason why you want to know the quarter point is because when you do the, when you draw the graph, the phase shift is always gonna be your first key point. That's your, that's your one key point that you have. But in order to, to find all the other ones, we have to find out how much we have to add to each one to get to the next uh, key point. And that's gonna be this right here, quarter point. Now, we're just in this, this problem is gonna be pi. So I'm starting the graph off at pi, and just adding pi every single time to get the other uh, key points. Okay, so hopefully you have all that written down, I'm gonna erase all this because now we're going to draw the graph. Okay, now we said that the phase shift was pi. So pi is always your first key point. Now whenever you do a graph, you have to show a total of five key points. The first one we already found because that's the phase shift. You gotta find the rest of these. To get full credit for this problem, you wanna make sure that you label all of your other key points. Now what we do is we just take the starting point and we just keep adding the quarter point to all the way across until we uh, finish this. So if I take pi and I add pi to it, I'll get two pi. If I take two pi and add another pi, I'll get three pi. Add pi to that, I get four pi. Add pi to that and I get five pi, okay? Now one thing you can check to see if you did this correct is if you take the ending point here and subtract the beginning one you have, the distance of that should be your period. So if I take five pi minus pi, I get four pi, and that makes sense. That's gonna be uh, what my original period was for this problem. Now, uh, we also wanna show the go up two and down two because two is the amplitude. If you have a cosine graph at your first starting point, at your phase shift, you're gonna uh, plot whatever number you have in front of the trig function if it's a cosine. So cosine is negative two, it would be plotted down here. If this was a positive two, you'd put a dot up here. If it's a sine graph, you start that on the x-axis, okay? And then if it's positive sine, you'd go up, negative sine, you're gonna go down. So you wanna make sure you know where the starting point is for that, depending on which trig function you have. In this case, again, we're starting it down there at negative two. Now the way the graph works, it's gonna alternate between the uh, amplitude and the x-axis. So the very next point, the key point here, it's gonna cross there at the x-axis, then it's gonna go up to the amplitude here. It'll come back down to the x-axis, then it's gonna finish down here 
at this point. Your graph itself is going to look like this. I'm going to put some arrows on each end indicating that it does actually continue in both directions but on the test it's only going to ask you for one period or one cycle. It would just be this part here so it would be a bell-shaped curve there.